Hi, back again with Cloud Talks on AWS Certified Solution Architect. So in today's video, we shall discuss a little more in depth about what does this AWS Solution Architect really do, their roles, responsibilities, understanding the skills which are required for this job, the exam in detail, the certification, and how do you really start resources, and interview questions. Moving on further to discussing the salary, scope, and also, in the end of the video, there is also a surprise for you wherein you would really wear your thinking hat as to really, am I fit for this job or not? So I hope this would be really clear by the end of this video. So let's just start by understanding what does really this AWS solution architect mean. So as I say architect, this is a really very fancy term which has captured my imagination and it, it is really very uh, good to hear that they are responsible for designing and developing advanced cloud-based solutions. Now, this is a very vast term when I say cloud-based solutions. It, it includes many things like you are, you are responsible for developing the infrastructure in cloud, you know, maintaining its responsibilities in terms of security, the access, the control, and so on. They move the existing workloads and infrastructure to the cloud. So this is a really very important so that the crucial data which you have is being loaded into the cloud, I would say, in a very, very systematic, organized manner. And that's why the solution architect is really, really plays a very important role because he sees to it that everything is in its place. Now, this was a very layman term. Now, let me make you make make this thing very clear as to what really does he does? He acts as a bridge between complex business problems and solutions in the cloud. You have a problem, you tell us in technical terms, the solution architect would get it done. And he's also responsible for communicating it with different teams. So we shall see it in the skills that are being required. Now, coming next to the skills required. So, so this is a mix of technical and managerial skills which would come into play here because the technical skills would require you to automate infrastructure. You will build pipelines for the continuous integration and continuous deployment. Now, the key skill which is required here is a strategy. The strategic skills, that means you, will, you should need to be able to identify the fit for purpose technology. The technology which you would use in the cloud that would reduce the cost and provide the optimal solution to the problem. The knowledge of cloud computing is really important. So if you have done the cloud practitioner, you know, course or certification, or you have the knowledge of how does the cloud work, really an overview of that, then this really help you to understand how does really cloud functions. So basic understanding of cloud computing, how does cloud work, what is this infrastructure, what, how does security work and stuff. So that has been covered in that practitioner exam. Now, good understanding of networking. Networking is important here. You should know at least uh, what is TCP IP, what is this HTTP, DNS, what are these layers, where does, what, and what are their functions, what does TCP does, you know, how, and how it has been sending signals, the packets and stuff like that. So, so you should have a, have a brief knowledge about all these uh, networking terms, right? And the programming language. So, so it has often been asked whether uh, programming language is important for any of the AWS certificate examination. Well, it is not necessary, but it is advisable to have knowledge of at least one programming language, either Python, R, Java, or you can go for even you know uh, Ruby, Julia. But Python is more sought out, sought out, right? So, yeah, programming language, little language, it's it's good. Now, another skill is for the security. Security becomes really very important when it comes to cloud. And you should know high level understanding of key security concepts, firewall, etc. You know, how, how do you defend your cloud? How do you defend from any of the um, infiltration of uh, different malicious attacks? So you should know how to secure your network, your cloud. 
and coming to the soft skills and coming to the another skills is like you should be flexible you should be able to learn new technologies which come now and then in, in this domain and you should be good in time management and also communication skills because you have to deal with communicating the needs requirements to other teams like devops team or you're working with the management or 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 different um, teams in the organization right okay now we have come to the aws solution architect certification what does the certification really does and how would it ensure that you get all these things so i have uh, briefly covered a few things with the certification addresses uh, first of all it gives you a i would say a certification and, and uh, a way to start your journey as a solution architect and this becomes clear to the interviewer that you are being certified that means you have knowledge of what you have knowledge of uh, i would say that you can design deploy scalable fault tolerant system in the aws platform because you have gone through the certification that means you are we know that you can do this you can analyze and optimize technical and business processes then you can design for security and compliance and you can manage implementation of the cloud architecture also you ensure solution and operations reliability so this when you have this certification uh, there is no need of you know um, individually explaining the interviewer that you've done all these things it is taken as an basic understanding that you know how to secure a system you know how to deploy various systems on aws and you also know how to make it fault tolerant you know how to how to guard the security of the cloud you can implement various things in structure so this is what the certification really holds for you and we come to how to start all right so what do you do is like you make a list of the goals i would just write here goals and map them to the aws certification examination that validate those skills like and the learning path to achieve them okay so like you have to go for like for example a deploying deploying a scalable system so this is a very large huge term so map it break it down and see whether the certification i would say where does this hold and map them and achieve them take into account your own area of experience for example you are good in networking right so take into account that networking skills and and use them you know use it to understand things better you might be from a different background but that is always your advantage now coming to the interview questions now what are the questions which are been asked for in solution architect now it comes from the security point of view or from how does this really amazon uh, operates this cloud operate so it is like what is amazon ec2 okay then uh, how can you ensure security for ec2 so these these are the questions which you could really work on and there are further segregation from these questions also amazon amazon route 53 cloud trail or what is amazon s3 right they can simply ask you what does it do like you know it is a simple cloud practice of simple storage of amazon right then another thing is in the implementation of all these things whatever they ask you they can give you assign a task they will give you a system and they will ask you to draw that infrastructure in that cloud so if you are able to do that you can scale that into you the practical implementation the practical uh wisdom is also being tested there whether you could really do that or you can just stay there so task and you know they can ask you to design and if you are ready to if if you can find the fault and if you can find that uh, that they have not given you the permission to access so and so resources then you can really ask for that they give you a problem you have to solve that problem okay fix that error and uh, now we come to the salary of it so the average entry level salary for an aws solution architect is 4.8 lakh per annum in india and this can really exceed to a six digit number now uh, this also requires some experience before entering this services like you should have knowledge of cloud which is which is a prerequisite you should know that how it really works otherwise how would you really understand what do you have to do so that is a prerequisite that you should know that else there are no no prerequisite for that one year experience would be fine two years it's very good so you can negotiate well with your salary now what is the scope 
in amazon aws like whatever certification you are taking it has a well defined path career path so you can either opt for a professional certification in the solution architect itself after one or two years and increase your package work on more challenging problems and or you can go for a specialty certification now this could be uh, if you are if you have done something in networking you can go for the certification of networking if you have done it in database you can go for database so there are various like 11 certification that aws provides and there are like about six in specialty domain so you choose it accordingly you can go for data analytics also the specialty certification in aws once you are done with an associate level or and then going for a specialty certificate right okay so these are the choices you have after completing the solution architect either you can go for specialty or professional and then scale in that career increase your pay enhance your learning and so on now we move on to is this for you now there are various question that i get that uh, i am i am not from a technical background or i i am i am completely i don't know coding shall i go for it of course you can go for it if you have a passion for solving a business problem and you want to provide an innovative approach an innovative solution or a better user experience so when you have got these things in you and you're really passionate about that thing nobody is stopping you you know they want people who have that fire in their belly to solve problems and when you know a problem you can really solve it by finding solutions now how this happens by questioning and logically answering them so when you have that thing basic thing in you you can take on any course in aws you can take on any certification and and go and make your career in that i am very clear on this if you're not even from a very from your coding background then also it is fine but if you have a willingness to learn and work in this field then naturally you will also learn one or two programming language because that is how you're going to solve problem okay if you're coming from any background it is open for you but provided you are willing to learn what it demands okay all right so i think this was it for this video and if you have any questions please mention in the comment section and also let me know whether you want more videos like this for all the certification examination so i can work on it and get back to you so this was all about cloud talks guys thanks for watching and like subscribe and share